We're just gonna release this nice brown. Probably about three pounds. Okay, there it's up. Oh my god. Salmon. Definitely not ready. <laughs> Whoa! Trolling some hard bodies on the flat line, no downriggers. And a nice brown. He's on the surface over there, I think. Yeah, a bit of way. I don't think it's quite ready yet. Definitely not ready. Four and a half. Good fish. Just want to be careful on that lure. Oh, oh no, he's still hooked. Yeah, he's got four and a half pound brown. Oh, that's good. Let's get the tank filled. Yeah, that's a good fish. We're just on again, no more than 10 minutes after that first four and a half pounder. And this rod, this is a nine foot rod and this is probably the rod that made Loomis famous. It's, it's pretty much a fly bait, it's a fly rod with spinning guides on it and that's what kind of got him into the spinning rod business. But the good thing about this rod is because it's so long, the rod pretty much just does all the work for you. Yeah, so it's nine foot long, so it's basically a fly bait. I think this fish might be a bit smaller, although the other fish didn't really fight till it got to the boat. He's on the surface just over there. He's actually crossed over this other line. There he is. He's probably about three pounds. Maybe try and keep him under. He's probably just not quite ready yet. Yeah, this rod, like if I just hold that rod right there, it's just constantly putting pressure on the fish and tying it out. There it is, yeah, probably, I don't know, maybe just three pounds. Oh, oh. Bugger. Bugger. 
What happened? I pulled the hook. I took too long. Well, I suppose that's just fishing, but we did get a good look at him. Oh well. Got him on camera. That's fishing. He came up to the surface, then he went down. I was like, yeah. Ah, uh, now I'm in trouble. Here he is. Oh. What do you want to do? Uh, probably net the fish. Mm -hmm. oh. It's heavy that net. See how it's come in and he's he's taking it so his mouth's open. Open him in. Yeah. All right. It's seriously hot out here. It's probably like 36 degrees and there's no wind at all. We're stinking hot, and the only way to keep cool is to. Go in the life tank. Yeah. Keeps you cool and keeps the sun off you. I think every boat should have one at this big so you can like you could probably just like swim in there. It's that big. It's so good. Alright, I think we're on a nice. Yeah. Oh get away. Oh he's a very good fish. Way. <laughs> That's a good fish. We saw him. He was just. We saw a little movement on the. Back it off a little bit. We saw a movement on the rod. Just tapped a little bit and then. He's not too happy. <laughs> yep, he's a good fish. That's our seventh fish today, if you count the one that got off just before the boat. Alright, fine, sixth fish, okay. So we should hopefully get a few more, and then um, we'll just head in for lunch because the wind will probably pick up a bit, and then we'll probably come out again this afternoon. What we have here is a Troll Pro housing and we're going to stick this down on the downrigger line. Hopefully, trout will strike. Alright, so we have a fish following the Troll Pro housing. So, either way, we have the footage pretty much. Now, just the added bonus is going to be a strike.
Well, that wraps up our three days at UKB Dam for Tidal Fishing TV. We uh, managed to get 25 trout, the best of them being 5.75 pounds. And a uh, big thank you to Dave, who took us out in his boat for the past three days. Uh, it's pretty much just a vessel purely set up for trout fishing. We've got four electronic, four electric downriggers, the Rance HDS-10, you know, sick boat, a big tank for keeping up. You could probably keep 10 trout in there. But um, despite the warm weather, 34 degrees, Heat wave, there's fires all around the country. We still managed to get 25 trout, so that's pretty good. The water's 23 and a half degrees on the surface, so it's warmer than the beaches, so I think we did pretty well. Yeah, thanks for watching.